everyone, welcome to today's episode. Today we're going to be making some scented bags. Do excuse the state of my hair. I, <laughs> I would have much rather have got into my craft room and started crafting than actually worrying about my hair. It is locked down. We are still living at home. And honestly, I know you guys don't mind. So I'm okay with it as long as you are. <laughs> So today we're going to be making these little scented bags, which are ideal for your underwear drawers. They're great for clothing drawers. They're great to hang on your wardrobe doors. Um, you know, even in the laundry cupboard, they, they're great. You know, you can make anything smell nice, can't you, with the right thing. So these bags contain lavender, which I think has such a nice overall smell. You know, it goes with everything. Um, and it's not overpowering, but it does keep things smelling nice. But again, you can use whatever you prefer. Um, so I think let's get started. I'm really excited for this. It's a nice quick make and it's not going to take up too much of your time. Let's get stuck in. So the first thing we're going to look at is the actual fabrics, you know, because obviously you need some good quality fabrics. Um, you know, same fabrics I used in my last video. Riley Blake series. Um, I can't remember the name of the series, but I will try and put it in the comments below. Uh, lovely selection. You've got different floral prints here. Um, you know, they work well together. So I thought, why not just use those little flat quarters up? Um, you know, that's the wonderful thing with flat quarters is the fact that you can use them for so many little tiny projects and you're not using up a big piece of fabric and ruining a fresh piece. So you think, why waste, you know, a larger piece when you can just use up smaller scraps or smaller bits that you you may not be using for any other project. Okay, so we've got our fabric selection. I've also got a couple of ribbons because I might actually, with a couple of them, put a little tag on them so you can actually hang them from hangers or uh, you know, hang them in the airing cupboard, um, you know, little places just that you might want to add a bit of scent or you might want to keep as a bit of a dehumidifier. And I'll show you how you do that as well. So the other ingredient that we're obviously going to need is some um, dried herbs. Now, obviously, a favourite is going to be lavender. So I don't know if you can see that. I'll just bring it a bit closer to the camera. But that's some lavender, um, dried lavender seeds, which I've got completely made a mess on my table now but that's okay because it smells gorgeous um so yeah so we're going to be using dried lavender next time i am going to try a bit of rosemary and a bit of thyme because <clears throat> they do smell really nice but i am conscious that my my clothes might smell a little bit um of food so <laughs> I have to bear that in mind so I will experiment and please do experiment and leave me a comment below let me know how you get on if you do try those kind of herbs um, or if you've got other ideas that would be fantastic to hear um, and also the other ingredient that we're going to use in our strange little mix of, <laughs> of, of herbs is rice so we've just got normal ordinary sort of white rice there um, which is it, the good thing about using rice or lentils or um, small beans is what happens is it actually absorbs moisture. So you'll find that if you've put it in a bathroom or something in, in the sachet, um, any moisture in that area will be absorbed. Um, I know that we're not going to really be putting them in the bathroom, but I'm just giving you an example. So if you've got a lot of dampness in your rooms, um, it might be a nice little way. I mean, it's not going to absorb all the moisture, but it's a nice way to sort of absorb any from your, to stop your clothes smelling of damp, you know, if they're, if they're in a confined space. Um, and also the other use I found, which is really great for the rice, is actually if you use essential oils. So if you were to put essential oils onto your um, onto your rice, when you actually put it in the sachet, the rice will hold the essential oil scent for longer. Um, and you just sort of give your little pack, a little rub, and the essential oils are released every time you do that. Do bear in mind though, 
that the scent eventually does fade. So that's something you do need to bear in mind because I I do have to sort of every so often drop a few bits of my essential oil, a few drops onto um, the cloth, you know, the cloth packet because it just refreshes uh, the scent, but it does hold it for a little while, perhaps not as long as we'd like, but you know, this is a natural, in you know, little pack, we're not going to be adding any chemicals or anything. So we do want to keep it as natural as possible. So the herbs are great because with lavender, we know that when you crack lavender, the scent's released and you can keep on going for a very long time. So that's why I do actually prefer to use the lavender um, over the essential oils because the essential oils are great because you've got a variety of scents, but not so great when you want to for the longevity of the actual product. Okay, that's enough of me chatting on. <laughs> I think let's we, we should make a start. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is cut the fabric. Good idea to iron your fabric first, but you know what, this time I'm just gonna do it back to front. So I'm going to cut it first and then iron it. But I do suggest you just iron your fabric. I'm just being a bit lazy. <laughs> okay, so um, I've already cut a few out here um, and I've gone with uh, 22 centimetres by 8 centimetres but you know you can go for whatever size you want whether you want a large or whether you want a smaller one um, you know just play around and come up with some different different sizes so I'm going to go again with the similar sort of size that I've gone for a nice quick and easy project this so you really don't need hours and hours to be making these things and you know what that's why the projects I've picked are so straightforward that even somebody who does not have much time on their hands but just wants to make something or just wants to do something this is the ideal project it doesn't you know eat into your day so much I mean you can make these, bang them out in like half an hour, you know, sorry, I've gone a bit off there. Okay, that was really poorly cut. <laughs> so do excuse my cutting skills. I'm trying to do it while staying on camera here. Um, yeah, so it doesn't eat into your day, you know, you, you can still carry on. I mean, I've got three kids myself, so I'm usually busy with them, but I do like to have a bit of me time and I do like to craft. So this is the ideal small little project, you know, to do that. So we've got our bits. I am just gonna very quickly iron that bit. And then we've got our pieces, okay? Okay, so I've ironed my little Piece. I'm only gonna I'm only gonna make one of those. I'm gonna do two of these and two of these. And it's so 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 simple. Honestly, what we're going to do is actually fold and sew along each side. And it is so straightforward. That's all we're going to do to start with. Okay, so uh, I've got my quarter inch foot ready, which is the one I like to use because, you know, I'm not that accurate at getting a straight edge, to be honest with you. And you know what, it just makes life a bit simple for us really. So it's a great one to start if you do have one. I am going to adjust my 
needle because it needs to be uh, you know in the center right so I'm going to start sewing and then I'll show you what I normally do to avoid wasting a lot of thread So when you get towards the edge and you are going to back stitch a couple of times and then before you remove that and pull away because normally you'd pull it out and you would cut the thread and waste about a, you know it's not a lot of thread I'm not saying you're going to waste a lot of thread but you know you would waste about that much thread just chopping it off so this is the next best thing which is just keep sewing, but leave like a centimetre gap and you actually end up saving a bit of thread. Here we go. Now we've sewn them all together so it's like a nice little <laughs> little ribbon, like a, a little bunting. And what we're going to do next is then sew the opposite side as well. So I'm going to snip it just there as well, just to avoid wastage. Um, right, so the next bit is you want to cut them all down the little gaps. They're all separated. Okay, I'll separate them all. Okay, and now we do the same thing again, but on the opposite side. I've got more than that. Right, here we go again. So we're all sewn, the edges are done, and I'm just going to do what I did with the other lot, which was just to separate them. And excuse the little burns on my hands, I unfortunately was trying to get some food out of the oven one of these one of the days, and um, I was being a bit silly, and I thought I'm not going to wear oven gloves, and serve me right really ended up burning myself because I was using a, 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 a um, I was using a dishcloth and I ended up burning my hand which is okay I mean it's healing now but you know silly things that we do hey right okay so now we've we've got to this stage where they're all here like that we've, we've we've sewn the sides together and now we need to move on to the next step so we're going to turn them inside out and you should have a little pocket so let's do that now That's roughly, the, I mean, if you think of my hand size and then you, you put it next to it, so that's roughly the size. Um, and you know, you don't need them huge. You don't want them to take up too much space. You just want them big enough to contain enough of the scent to do the job, really.
the nice that it's homemade. You could even personalise it but by stitching their name in, you know, embroidering their names or even just here's an idea. So what you could do is stitch the name. I mean you could embroider the name of the place where they're going to go so you know which drawer they belong in. So maybe one for your socks, one for your panties, one for your bras one for you know your towel rooms or a couple for the towel room uh, not the towel room sorry the towel cupboard <laughs> you know what i mean the airing cupboard but yeah numerous uses for these little play little things okay so now we've reached this stage we're going to actually fill them and the ideal thing would be to use a spoon but i am not going to go back inside the house now to go and get a spoon so i'm going to brave it and i'm going to try and get a bit of the rice without spilling it every oh no this is not going to work okay give me a second i'm gonna to have to go and get a spoon okay peeps i found one of my old painting <laughs> this I, I've used this spoon for acrylic paint so it isn't any it's not dirty it is just paint but it's dry and it's not about to come off and I really really could not be bothered to go back into the house because it's freezing out there so I just decided to use this spoon let's see yes much better so I won't be making as much mess so really a couple of spoonfuls you want to put do it spoon by spoon in each one but you just want to put a bit in each each one just to give it the um the umph you know the just to just to bulk it out if you know what i mean Okay, so all of the bags are sort of, I mean, that's not even half full. I would say that's like a third of the bag full. So we don't want to overfill it and that's just with rice, remember. And we do still have to put our lavender in the bag. So you must bear that in mind as well because you don't want to, um, you know, you don't want to overfill it with rice and not have enough space for the actual lavender. Okay, so we filled all of them now and they're all they've all got a nice amount of rice and uh, lavender. I think I'll show you a bag which is a bit easier to look into. But it's all in there anyway. Right, so we're gonna we're going to sew it this way so that the bag it's almost like a tea bag. I mean, I think we all know the brand, but some tea bags have that triangular sort of shape. I just think it gives the the substance a bit more room to sort of move about but what I'm going to do is just fold it in so it's about about a centimetre or so inwards click that there we are going to sew that across so see see what I mean with the shape I know it's a bit of a strange shape but it just gives it room to shake around and, you know, I mean, you can stitch it the other way. You can just go make it into a pillow shape like that, you know, um, and some people do and they just prefer it to be flat. So if you want to be able to put it in the drawers, in fact, I might do a couple like that and a couple like this. Just that's a bit of interest and I just quite like the fact that it's like that kind of shape. 
okay so now we've got that bit what I would like to do with mine and this is entirely personal decision remember I was saying earlier that it's good to have a little bit of ribbon just so that if you do want to hang it you can do so now's the time we want to tuck that into the um, into the middle there so I'm just going to choose roughly the length of the ribbon that I want and I think I think that's about, about a nice sort of size isn't it I'm just going to literally sew that together there so it just keeps its shape. Okay, so um, I've done my little ribbons. I'm only going to do three with ribbons and the rest can have, uh, you know, just flat so they can just go in drawers. Okay, so I've sewn just a little bit on the end. I've done it, I've sewn across twice just so it is secure. And then I'm going to tuck it into, just tuck it in a little bit further so you're not, you know, it doesn't pull out easily and then you've got your little loop there okay so I'm just going to pin that into position there just so that it doesn't move about Now ready to stitch. Those are the flat ones, the ones that will just go in the drawer.
so we finished our little bags, uh, scented bags, and they are smelling divine, honestly. I just love them. This one looks a little bit Christmassy, but I actually really like it. And I have made this one a little bit smaller because this one is quite, it's quite full compared to the others, but I do like that sort of size. I think that's ideal for the underwear drawer. Um, but I do like the little loops on, so I think they're so cute. Um, but yeah, so that's basically how, how you make them. And there you have it, some lovely little lavender sachets. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. See you soon.